Welcome back everyone to our Let's Play series of Transroad USA. So before we get started, I do want to let you know that my voice is likely to be a little weak today. I am feeling very weak overall. And that is because uh, if you don't follow me on Twitter, then uh, you may not be aware. I actually spent some time in the hospital toward the end of last week and then over the weekend. So uh, if you're not following me on Twitter, that's where you can find uh, some updates that I generally will post if there's anything that's going to keep me from posting videos uh, much outside of my normal schedule. Uh, you guys that have been around for a while know basically what my normal schedule is. But if you see that I have not posted any videos for uh, a few days or more, then most likely I've posted something on Twitter letting you guys know. So on Thursday afternoon at some point, I'm not exactly sure because I wasn't in the best frame of mind. Uh, I was actually rushed to the hospital, to the emergency room, and then uh, consequently spent a few days in the hospital. So I'm feeling pretty weak right now, but one of the things that I wanted to get back to doing as soon as possible was some sort of normalcy, and making videos with you guys is one of the things I absolutely love to do. So I wanted to make sure I could get back to that as soon as possible. But I do want to let you know, today's video is is going to be even more relaxed from me than normal. So uh, I normally play this game very casually, but today is even going to be more casual as I just try to get back into uh, the swing of the things. And hopefully over the course of the next week or so, I will gain back some strength and I can get back to a little bit more of the normal content that I'm used to. But for now, we're just going to try to make some money. Uh, we're already doing great. We're at 12.2 million and we're doing great i mean we are if we look at the ratings list you can see we're we're crushing gordon fox as of now but we've seen in plenty of times in the past that that has uh really had some ebb and flow to it and sometimes he catches up to us and sometimes we pull away so who knows where that will be even by the end of our video today uh, and just to recap on where we are in our career mode because that's what I've been trying to focus on a little bit more here lately and try to move the storyline along is we're looking to complete six reefer contracts which is not even going to be an issue for us because we have this set up on an automated deal over here on schedule eight so these guys uh, it's a 12 trip contract so we're moving right along with that and it's going to happen whenever it happens but uh, really no need to uh, to move that along any faster than it's already going to take place. And then we'll see what Billy has in store for us after this. So, of course, we started off with uh, 12 trucks that really need something to do. So we're going to try to get them going. But first, just for my own uh, reference, I need to get a refresher as to what we are doing. So we've got Schedule 1 with our dry trailers. And they're working hard on a 50 trip contract but we're not doing any sort of a return trip no uh, no backhauls and simply that's because of the whole timing of this we got five truck deal and we have five trucks on it and we have had uh, no luck with timing issues in this game with around contracts so we're not doing a backhaul there so that makes sense uh, let's just make sure we don't have any dry trailers that are sitting here waiting and no we do not looks like we've got all one trailer type actually that are sitting here waiting uh, except for the others that uh, we're going to get to the livestock, hopefully. And I have no idea where the career mode is taking us, but I'm kind of hoping that's where we get after this. And that's why I lined these up and got all these purchases and the trainings done uh, in the last uh, video or two. Again, I can't remember. Everything's a little fuzzy right now for me. So I'm hoping over the course of the next uh, week or so, all of that will start coming back to me. So then we move over to schedule number four. And we are almost done here in Indianapolis with uh, the uh, with the contract, 15 trip contract, and we'll be looking for more contracts there as well. All right, let's see what we've got, and then we get into six, seven, and eight. Or of course, that those are our recurring deals, and those we really don't even have to uh, to really worry about. Okay, so I think that's enough of a refresher for me. You probably, you guys probably didn't even need it. Um, I do want to apologize. I really, really wanted to have some videos up for you guys. Uh, of course, this would have been on Friday, would have been the most recent video for this series. Uh, but again, I uh, didn't have anything actually pre-recorded. Um, I did have some of the Motorsport Manager pre-recorded all the way through the end of that season, which is why through Wednesday of this week, uh, those videos will be all have been recorded before 
um, I was taken to the hospital. But all the other series are are going to have to be recorded with my new slightly weakened self <laughs> this week. So we're going to find our way through it, and we're going to get started over here on schedule number four. And let's see if we can't get these guys some more work. So we're full in Indy, and of course we got some guys headed their way back down to Memphis because there was simply no more room at the end. All right, let's see what we've got. And our, let's see, nothing there. Okay, all right, fine. We'll see St. Louis, anything at all. Five trips, ten trips. Not a whole lot going on either way. And even the recurring deals are not paying near as much as I would uh, prefer. All right, what about over in KC? Nothing there. Chicago, okay, Des Moines. So, yeah, we're, we're going to be stuck going back up north to really have a whole lot of any chance to do anything with this particular trailer. All right, here we go. Now we're talking uh, something a little bit better. So we've got a 15-trip deal. It's a four-truck contract and 13.6 thousand per trip 132 thousand completion bonus that is exactly what i want to see so let's go ahead and we'll definitely want to take that one that's going over to oklahoma city and you can see that pittsburgh we're getting very close to the uh, level four status with our reputation there at this particular customer and then we haven't been to oklahoma city at all so this should be a pretty good deal for us open up a new customer and increase our ties with an existing customer. That's all the things we love to do in business. All right, so we're going to go ahead and throw as many of these on there as we can, not because we absolutely have to have them all, but because I'm trying to keep all these guys together. So we'll end up with eight plus one more as this contract fills out. Okay, then we've got our livestock trailers that are still ready to go all right we got a reset on our recurring deal on six okay there's our it was our final delivery on schedule number four all right so now we're we're often moving on this new contract which is very profitable that is the kind of thing we like to see all right more salary increases yes everybody load up all right so let's work our way over a little bit here and let's see what we've got so over in uh, Oklahoma City, we've already got our four trucks sitting over here. The only bad part about that is when this trip is over uh, and this schedule is over, then we'll need somewhere to park these guys nearby. And unfortunately, we don't have anything other than San Antonio relatively close by. All right, let's see what the message was. Oh, we got another reset on a recurring deal. Okay, now let's see what we've got uh, from OKC. I don't know. I guess one of the benefits, uh, there are there are good and bad to uh, being really sick or in the hospital because uh, on the bad side, I don't remember right off the top of my head all of the places where we could find good deals with this trailer type. But the good thing is everything is kind of fresh to me, so it gives a new, uh, a fresh look at everything that we haven't had in a little while. You get sort of bogged down with everything being the same after a while and you get used to the way everything works, which is both good and bad. So from now, we're not gonna have, uh, we're not gonna have any backhauls on this contract, but you can see we are quickly, very quickly indeed, uh, completing this thing. All right, we, and once again, we are going to start filling up on this. Let's see, where are you guys going? Why are you in Des Moines? Where are you? You are in Des Moines. You are staying in Des Moines. I guess that's because... Okay, I guess he made his final delivery as we're getting close to the end here. He made his final delivery, and the cl closest location was Des Moines that had any room for him. Okay, so I guess we'll go there and there's probably gonna be several more that are gonna be headed to that same spot, I would guess. 
Although, not yet. Looks like he's the only one so far. And we got six trucks remaining on this particular one. All right, so we got a couple of trucks down here who stayed in OKC. Uh, that is not what I wanted to see. Keep these guys all together. All right, do we have anything in Des Moines for this trailer? Didn't think so. So it looks like once again, we're going to have to head back up back up north to get what we're looking for. All right, let's let these guys in Pittsburgh go ahead and do what they need to do. And now they're going to be headed, I would imagine, yeah, there we go, to Des Moines. And let's go ahead and take, oops, there we go. Let's have you to Des Moines as well, as I'm estimating that our next uh, contract is either going to be uh, Detroit or most likely Minneapolis. That's where I'm going to start looking. Okay, I think that gets everybody where we need them to be for now. Okay, more salary raises. Very expensive here, which is understandable given given her qualifications, but... Alright, so let's go. Everybody in Des Moines for now. And then here momentarily we'll be looking to... Oh, I see some more. Alright. Des Moines is quickly going to fill up. So let's see what we've got. So we don't have anything in Des Moines. What about Lincoln? No, nope, nothing there either. Uh, I know we can get some stuff in Chicago from time to time. But, of course, Minneapolis is where a lot of these deals can be had. And let's see. Well, already. There we go. So going over to Augusta. And we know we've got some good business over in Augusta. Uh, both of these customers are really leveled up to the max level already okay so these are some nice deals that we're seeing here some very nice per trip numbers and what I was hoping to find is something along the lines of a 50 trip deal but unfortunately we're not really going to get that it doesn't look like all right so this particular deal going from Minneapolis we like this one Let's go ahead, and that one is, what, a five? Yeah, five truck deal there. So let's go ahead and get everybody moving on this. Okay, let's make sure we don't have any more. Yeah, there we go. Got a few more that are trying to sneak off down to OKC and stay there. Okay, that should get us off and running. And then we should have an opportunity, I believe, to head... Uh, and do a, head back from Augusta and do a, a backhaul. Okay, so now we're fully finished with the one contract on Schedule 4. Now let's see what we can get for a backhaul as the first of our trucks make their way over uh, to Augusta. All right, we'll wait till they get a little bit closer, but you can see we've got groups of, looks like three, four, and then another group of three coming close behind. We got a total of nine. All right, here we go. Now that we get our first group in, I'm going to try to catch these guys right before they get to Augusta. And let's see what we've got. Uh, come on now, give me something really good. But of course, it's got to be back to Minneapolis, or at least along the way. Hey, the way I'm feeling today, we'll take some chances. And if it doesn't work out, then it just doesn't work out. But we're definitely not going to worry too much about it. But unfortunately, they're not really even giving me anything along the way. Okay, that's unfortunate. I was hoping they would give me something maybe to Chicago or somewhere just along the roads that we're already traveling. But it is not to be right now. So we'll simply work on completing what we do have available. And then we'll go from there. All right, so you can see this is not going to take very long with nine trucks to do 15 trips. Uh, it's just unfortunate that the math doesn't quite work out as well as we would like. So let's get a update. Okay, so we're four out of six here on our quest line for the reefer loads. Uh, so these guys are hard at work, and they'll be done relatively soon with that. Hopefully we can get done with that 
in this particular video, if I can get this thing to stop uh, pausing every time. I know it pauses every time a, a contract is completed, but I really don't need that to happen with the recurring contracts, just the contracts that are going to send guys uh, like here. Really the contracts only that are going to send guys to different locations uh, to be idle. That's when I need to know about them. Okay, so we're getting some guys loaded up over here in Augusta that are no longer needed on Schedule 4. And whoop, there we go. That's what I'm looking for here. Let's see, where are these guys? Okay, they're all right in Augusta anyway. So let's go ahead in Augusta and see what we've got That now that we don't have to worry about where they're going. Okay, this isn't bad at all. Uh, going to Memphis, nice 13000 per trip, plus a nice 45000 completion bonus. Not bad at all. Only a five-trip deal, though, so that's not as nice as we might like. But then here we go. Now we go to Rapid City. Again, two of our customers that are fully upgraded. And wow, that is a very nice deal. 18000 per trip, 18.6. And then 127000 completion bonus. That will make you some money in a hurry. So it's a 10-trip deal. So let's go ahead and take that one. And then let's load up all these guys in Augusta on this contract. So this is where we start to run the risk of getting everybody sort of spread out because the numbers, the math doesn't work out. We've got six trucks doing 10 trips and, and that kind of thing. So it's not exactly the neatest math that you can have work out. But uh, for now, that'll be perfectly fine. And if we have to move some guys around to get them into the same or similar locations, then we'll certainly do that later on. All right, let's move over. I see we got some dry trailers getting getting done. Let's move over to Memphis. And let's see, anybody else that looks like they're about to get into our depot? We got one more coming. Then I see one more here. So the last truck is somewhere along the lines. Oh, maybe that's going to be him right there. Oh, wait, let's go a little bit farther. And there we go. So now we've completed schedule number one. Now we've got our five dry trailers back going. You can see our money is just ballooning. 14.3 million at this point. We are still two away on our reefer contracts. Let's see what's available in Memphis. All right, another very nice deal for this trailer type going to Charlotte. So I like this one, plus it's 20 trips, so it's a little bit longer. I like that one, but I did not look at completely, yeah, three trucks. So I forgot to look at the number of trucks there. And okay, not terrible on the per trip number, but completion bonus is not very good. Okay, not bad overall. We've got a few good ones. There we go. Now, this is what we're talking about. It's a four truck deal, $7,200 per trip, $223,000 completion bonus. Now that is the type of contract I can really get behind. So let's go ahead and set this one up. And thankfully it's only a four truck deal and we have five trucks, which I would consider to be basically the minimum. Don't like doing five truck contracts with five trucks. All right, more salary increases, yep. And again, I mean, the game has to have a way to try to take money away from you from time to time. We've seen that throughout the career mode. They have not only the normal operating expenses that you would expect to have between salaries and, and vehicle maintenance and that type of thing, but they also have to come up with some sort of way to take money away from you. And, and the career mode has done that with these bogus tax bills and fines and that kind of stuff, which I'm sure we're not quite done with. But that's just the kind of thing the game is trying to increase the difficulty a little bit uh, monetarily for you rather than uh, paying you less money. All right, let's move our way back over to Schedule 4. 
as it appears we are getting some folks who are let's see where are you headed you're headed to des moines okay i almost i really thought they might go up to bismarck rather than going to des moines seemed like that would be i definitely would be a little bit better for this trailer type because it gets us anything that gets us around minneapolis is perfectly good um okay so des moines it is we'll let those guys head over let's bring keep our keep our schedule up and sure enough they're starting to file into des moines and once we get there we go now that we've got a full house in des moines or at least we will have shortly then we can look at what we're going to do uh, as far as setting up our next contract let's see where are these guys all right these are not yeah they're not quite here yet so we'll let these guys get a little bit closer and all right here they come all right now we're full and we're ready to complete this particular contract which is going to be very nice give us 127,000 completion bonus let's head back up to minneapolis and see what else they've got for us maybe some more of these very nice contracts there's one right there going back over to augusta and all right not bad 8100 per trip not terrible 11,200 per trip not terrible but i've gotten so accustomed now to getting these these trips that not only pay us very nicely per trip but also have the very nice completion bonus uh charlotte again is a very nice trip uh, particularly because we have a depot in charlotte but unfortunately there are no further loads for us to pick up there okay very nice contract there too many trucks are needed so i'm going to bypass that one and I think this is our best deal. Going back over to Augusta once again. Okay, let's take that one. And let's get these guys going. So this is a, if I can get it to pull back up, three truck contract. So no big deal there. We'll knock this one out very quickly. Okay, anybody else? Yes. We've got a couple of guys headed to Bismarck finally okay so we'll have these guys you can see they need to turn around take the long way but they'll get there okay and that's it for now as far as our idle drivers one more check on our quest line all right we're almost done so it's almost time for Billy to come back and tell us what's next and let's get some of these screens out of our way you can see boy we are filling up i don't know what interstate this would be um, i can tell you some of the interstates that are particularly around memphis since that's the closest to where i live but uh, i don't have any idea what interstate this would likely be uh, granted they're not doing a a one-to-one -one direct map uh, to the real maps, but to the real layout of the U.S. But, you know, in general, it would be nice to know because we are definitely getting quite a bit of use out of this route that takes us from the northeast all the way through Chicago and then toward the central portion of the nation. We are just crushing it through there. All right, so we're going to start filling up the Augusta Depot as we get very close to, once again, uh, completing another contract which is going to pay us quite a bit of money we've now reached 15 million and there we go so it didn't take us too much longer all right billy what do you got for us so this is a pretty good balance yep yeah, i'd say so oh it's maria our extremely wealthy uh number cruncher so she has some more news let's hopefully it's good I'm sorry, but it looks like Gordon Fox created both the false tax charges and the environmental authority regulation to use against you. I think everybody is completely surprised by that, including Billy. I assume he has good friends in the tax and environmental offices. Maybe even bribery is involved. No, surely you don't think. 
So Billy, you've got to tell me what you found out when you were asking around about Fox. Oh, this is the way you get to the bottom of something. You have hearsay come into play, and that's definitely how you get the facts. So back when we worked for Fox, there were rumors that he was threatening some of the drivers, made them do illegal jobs, and then blackmailed them so they word wouldn't get out. All right, that sounds like Gordon Fox. Like making them drive illegal freight or violate environmental standards. Uh, then he'd use it against them to force them to do more of the same. So he asked around and tried to get a look at Fox's files. Okay, so we're breaking and entering now. You mean you broke into his office? If anyone did that to me, I'd fire them immediately. Wow. Good idea. Well, he did fire us. Back then, we didn't know why, or rather, I didn't want to believe that was the reason. So wait a minute. Before I go any further, am I to believe that Billy fired us, or uh, w Billy got us fired because he was sneaking around in the office? Well, no wonder he fired us. Okay, so it was Billy's fault at the very beginning. My goodness. Here we were, if you think back to the very beginning, we were getting ready to take a vacation, and then we got canned because Billy was snooping around. Wow. All right, so he has to help them. All right, so now we're turning the corner. Now we've gone from being extremely mad at Gordon Fox, and that being the only purpose as having revenge, now we're swapping over and we're going to try to help some of our uh, former former friends back at Gordon Fox Trucking. All right, so now we're in, not that we have any particular choice about this. So what are we going to do? We're not going to report him to the police because, I mean, what fun is that? We have to go, we have to go Mad Max on him. We have to do something. All right, he may have friends in the police department as well. Oh boy, this guy's connected. We might be dealing with some cartel stuff. All right, so let's see. Leave it with me. I'll get in touch as soon as I'm finished. All right, so Maria is doing some real crack investigative work for us. All right, so Billy is sorry. Uh, he can't be too terribly sorry because he's waited until now to finally let us know what happened. If he was really sorry, he'd have told us immediately. All right, let's see what we've got. So you know Mark and Spencer and Tara and the other guys, they can't get out of this by themselves. I want to help them and their families. All right, Billy, where are we going with this? Let's let's get to it. I'm so happy that you're not mad at me. Oh, I'm very mad at you, Billy. Let's get back to business. And let's see, let's, we should level up to the next rank of truck and company owner. Okay, so we can proceed with blah, blah, blah and keep expanding. Well, unfortunately, Billy, you've waited too long for that because there aren't that many depots left to worry about expanding. So now our goal is to level up. Well, we, we've already done that. And business is booming. Okay, so she's back to us. Wow, this is all running very quickly at this point. I like it. Let's move through some of this stuff. So I don't think we'll be able to report Fox to the police. Okay. First problem is evidence. Yep, it's just a, a slight issue with that. I sent one of my detectives to gather intel from a few of Fox's employees. He said he definitely seemed sensed anxiety among them, but no one would say a word. Okay, exactly what you would expect. Everybody's fearing for their job. The other problem is Fox's ties to the authorities. All right, so we, we're dealing with some cartel stuff here. There are too many people who owe him favors. All right. I know this may sound crazy, but what if we try to take him over? There we go. We finally get around to it. So is this what we're going to do next? All right, so we're going to try to buy him out. That just might work. The only problem I see with that is trying to buy him out. I mean, that only works if he wants to be bought out. Assuming, of course, that he's a private company, then buying him out, if he doesn't want to accept the offer, then he just keeps going. So if we buy him out, we'll own his company and employ his drivers. Gordon won't be able to exploit them anymore. But what do we need to do to take him over? Well, Billy, if you'd have been paying attention, you would already know what we have to do to take somebody over. Okay, you'll need money. I think we got that part handled. May not have a quite enough to take him over just yet, but we definitely know how to get there. There may also be other restrictions laid out in this company foundation. I'll prepare everything. Give me some time. All right. Billy, stop it with this oh no stuff. Stop it. 
So our dear friend, Mr. Gordon Fox, again, he's trying to make us raise our average maintenance interval to 42,000 when in, there's no way we're going to obey this. Wait, 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 wait. So do we get another letter? No, maybe. All right, hold on. Excuse me. Can I see that? I'd advise you to do as they say. Okay, so we're just going to give in to the extortion at this point. All right, so we're, we're really forcing that storyline along now. We're the only company to receive this email, which I guess he already knows after having talked to exactly no one. So is it ties to the authorities are too strong, and that's why you have to do this. The email may be fake, but they won't stop until they've got you. Okay, I don't like Maria Ortez anymore. All right, so we're just going to give in, and lo and behold, we've already done that. So what's next? Or let's see, 618. So, all right, so we've got a little bit longer to deal with this. Well, we've had to do that in the past. All right, boy, this storyline just never, never ceases to amaze me. All right, so now we got five. Let's get back to the task at hand. Yeah, you can see Gordon Fox. He's coming back some. And I'm really interested to see where Trucker Express is going to figure into all of this. Um, I mean, because we could wipe them off the map right now very easily and really not even realize anything changed. But, I mean, Gordon Fox, let's face it, we're not all that far. F we could realistically, we could do that now uh, and actually buy them out. But who knows what other sort of stuff they're going to throw at us before that happens. And I'm sure they're going to come up with some more ways to take some more of our money, some sort of hefty fines and whatnot. Uh, so we'll see how all that goes. But for now, it looks like we just our job is going to be simple. We are going to be tasked with making as much money as we can until 618. So we've got a little over, what, two and a half weeks or so to deal with that. Uh, and we'll see how much money we've got, and then we'll see what what they throw at us next. But for now, I think this is going to be a good place to leave the video uh, because we've got Augusta is now full with some trucks and trailers that need to get back to work. And our other active schedule is schedule number one. And you can see they're moving right along, slow and steady with five trucks on that. And the math will work out wonderfully there. So overall, things are going amazingly well over 15 million dollars I think we ended our last video with about 12 million 12.1 somewhere in that range so we've added about 3 million uh, to the pot in this video so I'm pretty happy uh, that was a lot to throw at us in the career mode very very quickly there but uh, it looks like Billy is not quite done and Maria Ortez is definitely not done with us and delivering bad news but that's gonna do it for now Thank you very much for joining me and stay tuned for more of our Let's Play series of Transroad USA.